Hey, this morning's focus is on breaking a plateau. As you can see, there's some snow right there on the mountains. Very cold up here this morning. Um, but how do you break an exercise plateau or a weight loss plateau? Well, a couple things. Obviously, this isn't going to fit everyone's scenario, but it's something you can build on. There's something called adaptation. Adaptation. Your body is adapting to what you're doing. So you lo lower your caloric intake, your metabolic rate decreases to match that metabolic rate. Remember, your body doesn't want you to starve to death. That's, that's all it knows. It doesn't want you to starve to death, so it's going to slow down your metabolic rate so you can uh, lose um, less calories throughout the day. Uh, obviously, if you go too low, you know, there's going to be an exchange that takes place there um, where you will continue losing weight, but you don't want to starve yourself. Um, and starvation really doesn't happen for quite a while. Uh, it's a big myth that if you stop eating for a few days, you're going to starve. Actually, you're going to burn fat as fuel for quite a while, especially in our uh, nation of America where obesity is skyrocketing. So back to the question. Adaptation, when your body adapts, that's why if you go on a keto, ketogenic diet, wow, I'm getting great results, and then boom, they stop. Or I've got this paleo diet, or I've got this plant-based, and then boom, what happened? Well, your body began to adapt, especially if you get on the same eating program, day in and day out, your body will become used to not only the caloric intake, but also the types of nutrients you're getting and your hormones uh, will start adjusting accordingly. So, so in a nutshell, to break an exercise plateau, to break a weight loss plateau, you need to either increase the intensity in your workout or the duration of your workout or start working out. You have to start moving, burning more, more calories. Uh, if you'll see here, I'm also wearing, um, I don't know if you can see it now, uh, a 30 pound, depends, I can take weight out of it, a 30 pound backpack that I will just climb these hills uh, for an hour and a half, praying, seeking God's will uh, for my life. Oh, by the way, this adaptation clearly points to a creator. Uh, we don't embrace evolution. If you look at how the body was made, it, it, you look at creation, it screams creator. So let's humble ourselves. Let's admit that there's no way all this could happen just on its own. So your creator has designed your body to be very efficient. So that's how you'd break a uh, plateau in one way. You'd increase the intensity of your workout or the duration, you go longer, or you would even add something like this uh, weight I'll, I'll carry around. It's definitely harder, I'm not used to it. And then when I take it off, I feel a lot lighter. Uh, and then also with your diet, uh, a lot of people recommend, you know, if you do intermittent fasting, uh, even one day a week or maybe after two weeks, you start to eat throughout the day and uh, maybe load up on a lot of carbohydrates, good carbohydrates, sweet potatoes, um, whole grains, something like Ezekiel bread, where you get some, some uh, healthy bread. Most bread out there is not healthy. But you're saying, but Shane, no, 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 I don't want all those carbohydrates. I, I don't want to do that. But see, adaptation sets in, and your body gets used to that minimized caloric intake, and your hormone levels are, infect, are affected. You know, we know that testosterone is increased, growth hormone is increased, but then those begin to minimize um, after your diet is prolonged. So what you're doing is you're supercharging or you're jump-starting your metabolic system. It, it's going, uh-oh, here's a lot of carbohydrates and here's a lot of fuel. Uh, I need to readjust. I need to adapt to this now and it kind of keeps your body in a state of guessing uh, and, and burning calories and, and, and trying to uh, equalize your metabolic rate and and so it really keeps it on uh, guessing um, so it doesn't say okay uh, well you're at 1500 calories a day I know that's where you're gonna stay so I'm gonna drop your metabolic rate by 30% that's a lot the body says and you, you start to burn less calories, you can become even tired, more sleepy. So that's how you jump start this plateau. You start doing something, increase the intensity, increase the duration, start to tweak your diet, maybe even go one day water only, water fasting only. Uh, if I really wanna jump start my, my uh, plateau, because I hit plateaus too, just like everyone else, I'll do intermittent fasting. I won't eat until three or four in the evening. Do that a few days and it really jump start things. So again, we don't wanna make this an obsession uh, but we do want to use wisdom in this area of breaking plateaus and uh, and getting kind of caught in a cycle of defeat. I've lost 20 pounds. Now I can't seem to break it. Yes, you can if you switch things around, and especially if you incorporate fasting. I would encourage you to incorporate uh, one day a week of 24-hour water fasting. Work up to that. You're going to burn, depending on your weight, height, 
uh, sex, you know, 1,500, 1,800 calories uh, of fat storage that day uh, because you didn't take any calories in. Now, granted, your body's going to burn the stored carbohydrates first in the in the form of of glycogen in your liver and in your muscle. Uh, but eventually, you know, you'll start to create quite a deficit there. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, let us know. And don't forget to download the free fasting book that should be in the comment section. And also watch our health seminar on YouTube. You can put in Get Back on Track Health Seminar, and it should come up. I shared my heart for a couple hours there and answered a lot of questions. So thank you. We'll see you next time.